Is it recording? Okay, we're posting this video onto YouTube as a kind of insurance, just in case things don't go too well for us. We've got less than five minutes before the cops come through that door. We're not sure if it's going to be good cops that have come to take us into protect custody, or the corrupt ones sent by the chest of drug dealers to kill us. So we're not taking any chances. We're making this video to let you know how we ended up here. It's kind of a long story, but I'll have to give the short version. It started about 10 years ago when the Tanzanians brought a drug called Sugars into Durban. It's basically heroin mixed with cheap household substances like teething powder and rat poison. From the city, taxi drivers and their conductors brought it here to Chatsworth and then it spread like a disease. Just one hit and you hooked. After that, you just do it for the roster. That's what we call the withdrawal symptoms. If you don't get your fix every four hours, the joint pains and stomach cramps get so bad you're willing to steal or even kill just to get the next fix. All of us in this room were hooked. We did whatever it took just to get that fix. We stole our mother's jewelry, our neighbor's clothes, drain covers, taps, every piece of metal that we could remove. Our families had nothing left. We even sold the pots with the food in it. There's always a willing buyer down the road. We all hurt the people they cared about us the most. But we found our way back to them through youth centers and rehab programs. The three of us managed to get clean, but our community was still sick. The pushers were giving the first few hits for free to kids as young as 10. We had to do something. We decided to give the dealers a taste of what they were causing. We stole from the dealers and we gave to the poor. Kind of like Robin Hoodies. But somehow, the dealers found out who we were and put a price on our heads. We put our families in danger again. So we had to stay away from them for their own safety. We chose a place that we could hold up and that we could defend. A confined space with only one entry point, no matter how many of them they are, they all had to come through that one doorway. And we would be ready for them. We emailed all the evidence that we have against the dealers, kingpins and corrupt cops to the media and the few cops that we might be able to trust. The cops said they're on the way to pick us up and put us into protective custody. So here we are, waiting, to find out whether we trust the right cops. The drawback with confined spaces is there's only one way out. So right now, we're kind of trapped here, between a rock and some unknown place. If this video has been online for more than a day or two, then we're either dead or too busy running for our lives to remove it. Mom, Dad, if you're watching this, I'm sorry I put you in this kind of situation again. I just want you to know that whatever happens, it's not your fault. You were great parents. I'm just sorry that I wasn't a better son. Okay, cut. We're done. Upload the video.